I want to keep it natural because we're just going to do a really pretty soft shot. This Denman brush, you can pick it up at any Ricky's, any beauty supply. Good beauty supply will always have a Denman brush, right? We grew up on this brush. Grew up uh, what's really nice about it is that if you'll watch my technique, you just take and you just, you just heat. Oh, I, I know the dryer is drowning me out. Yeah. It just takes and heats the root. So your hair will move a little bit more freely. It's a good trick. This is why hair looks so beautiful in photo shoots a lot of times. And like, how do I get that volume? You, you know gotta work from the root <laughs> out. You can't leave the root. So just watch what I'm doing. The color looks beautiful, Don. You can see how much lift I've already gotten on so the that root. Gives you that volume. Yeah, from the, root from the root out. From the root out. The follicle settles where it does uh, after you wash it, and this just directions it, frees it up. Just come from the other side. You're just going against the grain wow. to create the lift, and you're freeing up the, the 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 way that the hair wants to lie naturally after it's been washed. So you'll you'll see that as I go along. It looks a little aggressive. But it doesn't hurt, right, John? Especially, especially in the crown area, because that's where ladies like a little bit more of volume. A little more lift. That's it. That's all you have to do with the dryer. Like, uh, <laughs> that's like all you have it. to do with the dryer. I've been using this. Uh -huh. When I came in, you said, oh, your hair looks thicker. Yeah. Beautiful. It looks So cool. that was in there. I've been using this. Oh, Veda. fantastic. So that's what I use this morning. All right. Veda uh, in body. And is this body. another present? Uh, yes, it's for. I, Are you I bring, sure? I bring Joseph. Lots I get of so presents many presents. I never because, have to shop anymore. Yeah. No, this has been fantastic. And that's what's made my hair. Um, look really great. Plus, I also had my hair um, highlighted. Um, I go to Pas de Deux, this place in New York City. I'm going to give them a little plug because they're fantastic. I'm you should highlight. because I know that they're... Do you like what she's done? Uh, she beautiful. Does, she does these little touches of highlight. Beautiful. I love what she does. So anyway. Now, I'm going to take a big barrel liner, iron. I know a lot. It's very popular now. Big barrel. The big barrel. The big barrel. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to sort of bring the hair. I don't have to curl it out to the end so much because I like that little bit of a beachy head. Did you wrap it or did you actually open the barrel? I opened the barrel open and I just rolled it a little bit. I like the a little bit of right. the ends to be um, left natural. Just makes it look less done, you know? So I'm kind of, see what so I mean? It gives it that wave yeah. as opposed to a, like a tight curl. Well, you yeah. couldn't get a tight curl from this yeah. barrel iron anyway. And I'm just going to work my way down. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that I'm using the top, the clip, to, t uh, to t clip the hair up because that's also encouraging the heat right. that's still left in the roots from the blow dry to set with a little bit of a, uh -huh. of a volume. So when you're coming around to the front of the face with a curling iron, and you kind of want to frame the face a little bit. You want to think about what, that, what that's going to do. Right. You want to think about how that's going to frame the face. Dawn, who has a, a light layer, I'm just going to concentrate a little bit on how I want this hair to come to fall. See, I'm just building a little bit of movement in there. 
This is a great trick for ladies who have fine hair and sometimes they go in and get a little body wave. Right. You know, don't blow that body wave out straight. You know, Dawn has hair that looks like it's got a little body wave in it, right? You have that kind of hair that just has a little bit of a, of a crimp, crimple to it. Yeah, I do. And that is working like a body wave for me, but I, I think body waves are great when your hair is fine and straight and you want a little bit more volume out of it, I think it's a really nice way to get it. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to, again. I like how you hold it and come in from this angle, right? When you... Well, you know, you've got to go back and forth. And you can see the shine that's going into that hair from the heat. It's a really good tool. Go about medium on the temperature control. Okay. It always. It's always the best, it's always the safest way to go. Just giving the hair a little bit more shine and kind of independent direction. So that looks natural. Right. It doesn't look too done. Look, the easiest thing girls ever did was put five hot rollers in their hair and brush it upside down and go. But it constitutes that look that kind of looks like our moms, Ella, you know? Right. It's a little bit dated compared to the way that things are being done now. And you can see that it's, it's the same hair. Let me bring this one down and you'll see the difference right away. It's the same hair, but I'm taking some of this, you know, frizz up. Not my frizz, but it's a little, it's a, you've got rumples in your hair, rumple. Yeah. Rumple still skin. <laughs> So here's my last stage, and this is really going to be about working with the shape of the face. And that is, I want that volume right there, but I want to bring this back. So yeah, this is a little bit more of that waving idea. So I have got the tip. See how close I've got right. the tip to the end? Right, and just so I can learn too, you, you, you come from up here as opposed to down here. Well, you could reverse that. I mean, look, you know, we almost weren't even going to do this because, uh, I mean, everybody's doing the beach hair now, you know? Everybody's doing that. And it does make the hair look like it's just you got a great haircut yeah. rather than you got your hair all done, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It makes it look like you've got a great haircut. I do like this product you brought me, by the way. Yeah. I can see it acting, reacting more now that I'm using the iron on it. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of shine. It doesn't feel like greasy or no. strange. And that's what I love about Aveda yeah. because Aveda uses botanicals as well. You know, they're they're pretty pure. Right? Talk to them a little bit about botanicals uh, in general right. and why they're so important in our uh, our eco eco ecological minded right. place right. that we all need to get to. So basically with, with Aveda, you know, they've been around for a long time and it started with a man named Horst and he was, he was a uh, hairdresser. He worked in a salon. He started a company mm -hmm. and um, he was German mm -hmm. and he just believed in the beauty of plants and flowers and flower essences mm -hmm. and that our environment needed to be protected and that we could still have a company but not have a company where we're hurting people or hurting mm -hmm. the planet. So his whole philosophy was make the world a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. So whether that's with your, your hair care, skin care, your, mm -hmm. your beauty. And so the Aveda products have a lot of amazing botanicals. And botan what I love about botanicals is they're not, they're not harsh chemicals that are hurting right. your hair. Look, everybody's trying to change. Everybody's really concerned about what's going on with the environment right now. So a lot of companies are switching to, um, you know, more environmentally friendly ingredients. We think everything is supposed to be convenient and fast and just add water. Yeah. But the truth is that, you know, whatever is, is, is messing our planet up is not just something that we think in our minds, oh, we really want the planet to thrive and everything. We have young people, people that are being born. How many babies yeah. are born today? What kind of a world are they we gonna grow really up if that. everything's poisoned, right. if everything is processed? Yeah. You know, I feel that if, even if I have the smallest platform, I'm gonna still use my voice to help Mother Nature, to, to use my small platform 
because it's a, it's a it's a sacred responsibility for me as a woman and as a mother to you know speak and help protect the environment. But we're going to have fun with beauty. We love to create, and but we also want to educate, advocate for the rainforest and for the and for Mother Earth. Okay. I think this is going to be really pretty. Yeah, we're ready to go to the photo shoot. Right? Yes. Yay! All right. <laughs>